This week, I am embarking on a wild adventure through the undiscovered lands of Mauritania. With a group of like-minded individuals, we are traversing in a convoy of 4x4s across the Sahara Desert before catching the infamous iron ore train back out to the coast. In the last episode, our journey began in the capital city of Nouakchott. We met the team, grabbed a few last-minute provisions before heading straight out into the depths of the desert. We climbed ginormous sand dunes, found hidden oases, and danced around the bonfire under the moonlight until eventually we could see in the distance an actual town. We had reached the town of Chingeti, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and where this episode begins. Welcome to Mauritania. Okay, so we've just reached the town of Chingeti, where we're going to be staying for the night. I don't know Hello. if we will have power. I think we're actually having another night of camping. The guys are just filling up some air into our tires. The gangs. Half in the car, half on the car. I just peed around where I thought was a little private spot before I looked up and I saw that two men were watching me for about from about 50 to 100 meters away. <laughs> so, that's a good start to Chingeti. But it's very beautiful here. From what we can see in the distance, this is probably the most civilized place that we've been in the whole Sahara Desert. We're going. We're Are going, you I staying up there? Right up there yeah. Okay. It's another leaning out of the car situation. So we're actually staying in a homestay tonight. This is a bit of an impromptu plan because we were going to camp. But um, one of the teams, one of our team here out here in Mauritania, liked our group so much that he's offered for us to come and stay in his family home tonight, which is super nice. So we're just having dinner, starting off with a classic soup. Oh, it's nice soup. Yeah. Shortly after our soup, all the ladies of the tour were called into a separate room to have some henna painted on us. <laughs> Is that for real? <laughs> Little did I know that we were about to get all dressed up in the local dress and it was all a more slightly chaotic experience than we had anticipated. Oh, this one's angry. This one's crying. This one's singing to her. She's got Barry Manilow on her hand. He's the husband tonight. <laughs> but in all seriousness, we really didn't know why the ladies painted the initials BM on Caitlin's hand. Your guess is as good as ours. And once the henna fiasco was finally over, it was time to finish our dinner, which was a lovely chicken and chips. Wow. Oh, wow. In true Mauritanian fashion, we ended dinner with a good old group dance. This is the sleeping situation for tonight. It's, it's just one big sleepover room like it is every night. It's, yeah. it's very cute actually, it's very cozy. And it's late, that party went on until 11.30. It's past our bedtime. Okay, we're gonna say goodnight. Smooches. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I feel pretty gross this morning. If I didn't already, I feel particularly gross this morning. Nothing that a good teeth clean can't sort out. Come on then. Doing as much of a skincare routine as I possibly can. In here is my little uh, moisturizer SPF. I want to know what just happened. I think I have a shake in a cleaner. Fake hand. 
Thank you so much. Who wants tea? I'll get some tea. Hot. Okay. Today we are exploring the town of Chingadi, which is uh, where we stayed last night in the little homestay. And this is the local library, bibliotheque. If I learned anything in my French classes, it was Oué la bibliotheque. It's here. This is my house and this is my collection. It was at this point our main guide thought at least one of us could speak French, so he left us to our own devices and fend for ourselves in French. A name? Your name, name. And your name and your job. Name, country, employed. job. Uh, George and, well, I'm unemployed now, but I used to be. George? <laughs> 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 Come on, come on. This town is awesome. It's as if the whole town's like actually made of ruins but still being lifted. It feels like you're kind of walking through a land before time that is still existing. And it's also like a maze. I feel like I'm in a game of temple run or something. So beautiful though. Yeah. Let me tell you about this area that we're in right now. The UNESCO site. Um, the whole village or the whole town of Chinguetti yeah. is a UNESCO site. And this is actually, there's three old cities. One is under sand. This is the next one, the second one, and then there's a new old city. Wait, am I saying this right? I think so. There's three cities. Yes. One under sand, this is the old one, and then there's a new one. I was going to say one under sand, one under snow, <laughs> and one under water. <laughs> this is the sandy one. <laughs> this is the sandy one. So fun fact about here, that if you don't want to be harassed to buy a trinket, you can film yourself. So welcome to our YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies are very, very persistent with um, uh, the bracelets and everything. Thing, but they don't want to be on camera so this is the, yeah. oh, actually the only the way I have found right to now. deflect actually <laughs> I only like to be polite to people but like when people are being consistent it, it can it's be hard to be at the polite moment. yeah yeah this works yeah yeah this is the, this is the best technique I've found so far <laughs> in my head right now as we've just kind of stopped in the middle of the desert and look what we have here honestly I never thought I'd ever in my life be somewhere where I've just dropped in the middle of the Sahara Desert and there's just wild camels I'd never seen a camel in my life before this trip so this is, this is ridiculous it's also a lovely sunny blue sky day today the visibility is amazing as we're driving still windy though I wonder if, it's, if it is just windy the whole time in the Sahara Desert, but I've never ever been so grateful for this hat and also for the tie that it has. It kind of keeps my hair in place, you know? Like they use the head wraps here uh, for the wind and for the sand battering and everything, but I find the wraps good, but just a little bit fiddly most of the time. So I'm like, my hat is good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So today for lunch we have rice <laughs> and curry by the looks of it. Like a potato curry. Is that meat in it? Are you committed or Good job! Alright, well done!
I love this, we were just driving and the guys are like, well we've seen a tree we can make use out of. <laughs> That's a really good tree, we're just gonna stop and make use out of it. Maybe we can use some of those sticks to roast marshmallows around the campfire tonight. I absolutely love hanging out of the car, it's so much fun, but after doing it for like five, ten minutes, I'm like, okay, it's time to go in. You get absolutely battered. We are prepared for the train ride though, we've all got ourselves these like, Terminator style masks, um, but mine's in my big bag at the moment, so I can't wear it here. Little pit stop gives the drivers a break. There's a lot of sand here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I bet you can't guess where I'm hanging out right now. <laughs> Inside. She's in my shirt. I'm inside William's outfit. Oh good, this is just like what the Mauritanians wear and I can just... They're just as a two! Welcome! Welcome to the side! I don't like it too well. I bought one. There's room you know? for everyone yeah. here. <laughs> this is the chick magnet. So much room for activities. Yada yada! <laughs> Bonjour. We have now arrived in the little town of Wadan. Wadan. <laughs> it looks really good. Yeah, that's yeah. sick. That's so cool. Ça c'est le monsieur que je te parlais tout à l'heure. Ici c'est sa place. Comprends? This place of the holy man. Yeah. See, he, uh, the holy man lives here. Yeah. Okay. Well, the holy man. Yeah. yeah. What a view that they had, that's amazing. Oh, iPhone storage 4, what that happen? Oh no! Oh no! Cleo! Not in the middle of the Sahara Desert! No! <laughs> I need to take photos. It was at this point our translator decided to leave us again to fend for ourselves, again, with our below average French abilities. So I thought I'd revise what I could already say to get in the groove. Je m'appelle Christian et j'ai 30 ans. J'habite uh, à Woking, uh, c'est près de Londres. Okay, regarde. Regarde. Ici, c'est pour uh, un monsieur qui m'appelle. So this, Val, this, Val, is, Val, this is the name of... Voila, voila, it's Valen Wal Ahmed Mohamed. Wal Ahmed Mohamed. Oui, si, parce que cette route avant c'était difficile. C'était fatigant, fatigant. It's tired, it's tiring. Yes, c'est fatigant. Maintenant, maintenant se construit un peu. Is this exactly. the GCSE French crew that are leading the way? I did ordinary level French and I got a D, so... Ah, oh, I got an A! I, I got an A in GCSEs 15 years ago. So, we are now entering the well or the way to the well. This is comical. I really enjoy being the translator. <laughs> for context, our actual translator, Abdu, is setting up camp for the night, which is why he's not present with us like now. a sign up to say, watch your step. Oh, that's spooky. That, oh, that is a one way uh, ticket for, to death. Uh, for, uh, no, for, for 60 person, after the other Ah, yeah, uh, okay. Careful of the hole. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I can see the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Wadan is an ancient town known for its rich history and well-preserved ruins. It was once an important centre for trade and Islamic scholarship in the Sahara Desert. Today, Wadan is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, attracting visitors interested in its cultural heritage and desert landscapes. This is very cool. You lost. <laughs> Be careful on that, that's like, yeah, that, that's just wooden, yeah. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Oh, okay. There she is, you finish away. <laughs> Here she is. Oh, oh we got another one. Ben. Oh, oh you're so nice now. 
Oh, sure, that's a double up. Why not? <laughs> yeah, it was one that was kind of charming. No, it wasn't. No, sorry. Actually, I, can but I now stand I feel next good. to you? <laughs> <laughs> I love video. Welcome to our camp for the night. I'm going to give you a little tour. Uh, now we really are in the middle of the desert here. We drive about five to ten minutes away from the little village of Wadan, but let me give you a tour of where we're staying. So here we have the campfire. I'm sure we're going to be roasting marshmallows here tonight and putting the chairs around the outside. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six tents that's to share between i believe there's about 15 or 16 in the whole group including including the crew so come and have a look inside one minute. this is where we're going to be sleeping so each of us has a mattress like this we've got our bags in here you know it's not fancy but it's all you need out here in the desert <laughs> And out here we have the dining table, complete with many, many Man. camping chairs, <laughs> which can be folded up and brought with you over to the campfire out in the evening. This is where we're going to have, be having our dinner tonight, and probably breakfast in the morning too. Here's another tent. It seems that there are... There's like two to four people per tent, depending on who you want to camp with. And here are our bags. Here's my friends. Hello. 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 Hi, friends. Yeah. <laughs> Watch yourself. And that's it. That's where we're going to be staying for the night in the Sahara Desert. Oh, <laughs> Morning. Morning. Wow, what a good sleep, eh, guys? Yeah, it was yeah, it's so, so lovely. Oh. So warm. It was so warm and cozy. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm still hard. Caitlin? Oh. You guys love your syrup, yeah. don't you? Mm. Oh, wow. That's where the real fun starts. How much detail is in this? Nope, not too much. Okay. I mean, my shit was... Because every time you're here, you're writing. Oh, my contact's in. Documenting what? Am I currently? Yeah. This morning, we are about to enter the Eye of the Sahara, which is where they say Atlantis is, which is pretty cool. And as far as I'm aware, we're not actually going to see too much because the Eye of the Sahara is like two kilometers in diameter, which is absolutely huge. And it's hard to see when you're actually here but if you were from way up above you would be able to see what it looks like we're just making a little pit stop before we actually get there i'm really curious i'm curious to see what we can see of the eye of the sahara but because of the whole atlantis myth uh, i believe it's a very popular tourist destination well as popular as it can possibly be in the sahara desert because there's not much out here there's not many people here but there's some really interesting rocks some really cool rocks around here. I hope Sahara, nobody knows the real story. Some they say it's a meteorite, some they say it's a volcano, but for us, 100% is a volcano die. <laughs> That's in my head as well. It really does feel like you're on another planet. We're on Mars or something. Just trying to pick out some rocks so that I can go home with a rock and say it's from the eye of the Sahara. They're quite pretty, lots of different colors. Got a few in my pocket. Where's the sun? There it is. I thought this was. Uh, well, it is windy today. Oh. Very, very windy London. But we've got some rice with veggies. Um, there was a few olives and eggs in here, but I've offloaded my olives and eggs to Caitlin. Fish is sardines. Fish sardines, yeah. And then there's spam underneath here somewhere. There it is. Whoa! I don't know what it is actually. Oh, right. 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 Oh, right.
How do you know it's this jaw? Oh my god. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Just like that. It was then a long drive from the area around Wadan to our next stop, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to give my skin at least a little TLC. Well, as much as you can really get whilst driving in the desert. I also took a little nap as usual, but when I woke up from that nap, the landscape had completely changed and I couldn't quite believe my eyes with this new view. Woke up from a nap and it looks like we've just arrived on Mars. This is a completely different landscape. But we're still in the Sahara Desert. Did you just say better than the Grand Canyon? I did. Yeah, better than the Grand Canyon. I've never been to the Grand Canyon, so I can't vouch for that, but I believe them. Are you happy? Too happy. Really yeah. disgusting. <laughs> I can't explain to you how good it feels to wash your hands with running water when you haven't been able to do so for several days. Absolute bliss. And we have finally reached the end of our long desert drives because in the next episode, we are heading directly to the town of Chum, appropriately named, as it will be where we are catching the infamous iron ore train back out to the coast. Make sure you're subscribed to stay tuned with how we get on and I will see you then. Bye bye.